Good morning, everyone. So obviously last night and today was a super fun stay um, here at Bramwell at the, um, it's Bramwell Station Tourist Park, I think is what it's called. So if you're coming, there is the roadhouse. Definitely stay at the tourist park instead. I think it cost literally the same thing per vehicle anyway, um, but so much fun, live entertainment every night and then watching the cattle this morning. So it's obviously um, an active station and there's people working and living here. So really, really cool little environment. But today, I don't know, I don't know what day I'm up to, but I'm gonna push through um, hopefully to Fruit Bat Falls today or Elliot Falls, Twin Falls, if I can get there. I don't know, but I'm headed up to a waterfall to finally get that swim in because it is super duper hot already and I'm already a little bit late to get started, but um, I'm keen to push on to one of these falls. I don't know how many kilometers it is from here to there. Still no phone reception whatsoever through most of like, well, basically from Weeper to the tip i'm pretty sure there's nothing but <laughs> we're just gonna follow the road there's essentially one road or two you've got telly track or the bypass road i'm obviously taking the bypass because this ain't doing the telly track but i'm gonna head up there now and hopefully go check out this waterfall Alrighty, goodbye bramwell station it was lovely visiting back onto the dirt road for me Lakeland, which is 
like I said, and these people, like other single travellers from Cairns, came over, and there was a lady travelling on her own. She was awesome, really, really lovely lady, but travelling with this group from the Cairns Fall Drive Club, actually. And she was like, oh my god, like I've got grandkids sort of your age, can I take a photo with you and your car? So that was really cool because it's like a bit out of the normal up here. So that happened and then the guy, one of the guys with that group was like, haven't you read the books basically? Like you know up here you need like these tires and this whatever everything and I was like, well, no, obviously. <laughs> and then they left, like they were super nice. But then um, this other guy came over, I was just like sitting at my car cooking dinner and just like took a photo of me. I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. And I was like, oh, are you from that Cairns group? And he was like, oh, no, no, I just saw you on the road. Like, so, and then apparently he was traveling with someone in a smaller car who turned around. And he was like, no, no, I just came to take a photo of them. And I was like, to show them. And I was like, uh, do you want me to like move or anything? And he's like, no, no, I just want to take a photo. So everyone's been pretty curious but I really am appreciating talking to everyone about the roads and everything up here it's made such a difference being able to say like okay what's it actually like what's this and that and people actually noticing and being willing to give me a hand has been amazing makes it like a little bit reassuring being out here and then um from there basically I was with Matt at the like entertainment music sort of thing and then we ran into these other guys and they were actually from a cattle station down down south, driven a few thousand k's basically to get up here do this trip. So ended up um, drinking with them for a while because everyone went to bed at like seven o'clock and these guys are more uh, our age. So like 23, 25, that sort of age, which was really, really cool. They were so much fun. Um, but they're driving the tele track today and we're probably gonna link up again at the falls anyway, like our whole little crew. So it's really awesome traveling by myself don't get me wrong i love it but it's really cool meeting these sort of people as well and meeting everyone along the way has just been incredible <laughs> it's such a cool experience and especially the way i'm doing it everyone's been more than willing to like come over and have a chat because they're curious about what you're doing so i really appreciate all you guys if any of you um watching this actually saw me along the way you guys have been epic but yeah hopefully i will meet up with a few more people today at the waterfalls that I've already seen, which would be pretty cool. And then uh, it's just more of a shared experience as well with everyone doing the same trip. So I'll keep heading there now and see how we go. guys I am super super excited because I have actually just pulled up at the turn-in for the Elliot um, fruit bat and twin falls so basically I've just parked up everyone is parking their vans here but I'm gonna drive in in a minute I just wanted to show you basically from the main road which is here there's forks off into this other little road I'm assuming it's pretty good because it's basically a tourist location but I've got 8 k's until the camping area which I absolutely could not get a permit for and then only about three to fruit bat falls so that means there is definitely a swim in store for me but that is super super exciting so basically i would love to stay at elliott falls it's national park camping which in queensland means it's like six dollars 75 or something stupidly cheap like that but basically uh what's happened is everyone has booked it out just booking like five days in a row because they don't know when they'll show up essentially and you can't blame them like how would you know but if you're planning a two-week holiday up here say um you just book the whole time because it's so cheap and it means there's no availabilities left for anyone who just wants to come up for the night like me so i have definitely tried to get a permit i have no idea where i'm going to stay tonight at this stage but i'm going to at least check the waterfalls out and see if there's somewhere else near national park that i can camp there i really don't know but i'm gonna suss it out I'm so excited that I'm actually getting up here. A family 
I've just quickly jumped around and got changed because it's like a good 30 degrees here at least so I'm super super keen for this swim the road in here was absolutely fine just met some more people at the car park who were like hey we've seen you on the road cool <laughs> um, so lots of people around anyway out here that said this is a really good swimming spot so I'm about to jump down there and jump in that water I'm so excited Good. Oh, I've never been so excited to see a swimming spot. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so this waterfall is obviously absolutely beautiful, but um, to get to Elliot and Twin Falls, it's about another six or eight k's or something down the telegraph track. So I'm gonna hitch a ride there and go check those out as well. got the top layer and the bottom layer but there's also another waterfall here and down further so I'm honestly not sure but either way it's really beautiful and then we will keep following the boardwalk um, around to the next waterfall again it is really really clear which is so nice <laughs>
Now, basically you can't camp in the national park. Um, so we're just gonna wing it and camp, or you can't without a permit at Elliott Falls, which I can't even get to. So we're gonna wing it and camp beside the road, <laughs> essentially at the entrance to the fall, because it's technically not national park. So you should be able to get away with it there. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That is the way to be. Yeah.